we will learn concept of branch accounting let us first understand types of branches so this is a company x limited head office of x limited is in mumbai x limited is having branch number 1 at delhi try to understand delhi branch keeps its own books of accounts sir but it is a part of x limited agreed but it will prepare its own books of accounts as if it is a separate legal entity and at the end of the year this books of accounts will be consolidated with x limited so till the end of the year this branch will be treated as an independent entity it might be having an independent accountant and it will be keeping its a separate own books of accounts at the end of the year a whole of the books of accounts will be consolidated with x limited because ultimately it is a part of x limited this type of branch is known as independent branch let us understand another branch branch number 2 is in gujarat it does not keep its own books of accounts but sir this branch will be dealing they will have to keep books of accounts yes who will be keeping its books of accounts head office which in this case is mumbai will keep books of accounts of gujarat branch it will prepare a branch account it will prepare a debtors account it will prepare a stock account of a branch but all the books of accounts are maintained by head office at the end of the year bo is books of accounts books of accounts will be maintained by head office at the end of the year no need of consolidation because all the journal entries all the books of accounts of this particular branches are kept by head office this type of branches where head office maintains books of accounts of the branches will be termed as dependent branch there is another type of branch say branch number 3 is in usa so branch number 3 will be dealing in us dollars this type of branch is a term as foreign branch these are types of branches we are going to learn accounting of independent branch or dependent branch as well as foreign branch let us first understand dependent branches who keeps books of accounts books of accounts is maintained by head office all the journal entries are passed by head office it will be keeping a separate say account for that particular branch so again books of accounts are maintained by head office there are two methods by which you can keep books of accounts of dependent branches debtors method another is stock and debtors method let us first understand first method of a dependent branch which is 
डेटर्स बिफोर लर्निंग डेटर्स मैथड लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंसेप्ट ऑफ इन वॉइस प्राइस वी हैव लर्न दिस इन डिपार्टमेंट देर इज हेड ऑफिस एंड देर इज अ ब्रांच ब्रांच माइट बी सेलिंग गुड्स टू मार्केट सी कॉस्ट ऑफ हेड ऑफिस इज रुपीज हंड्रेड फॉर द गुड्स विच आर सेंट टू ब्रांच दिस गुड्स आर ट्रांसफर्ड टू ब्रांच नॉट एट कॉस्ट बट कॉस्ट प्लस प्रॉफिट हाउ मच प्रॉफिट से ट्वेंटी रुपीज प्रॉफिट ऑन हंड्रेड रुपीज दैट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑन कॉस्ट सो दिस गुड्स आर ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम हेड ऑफिस टू ब्रांच by adding 20 rupees of profit so branch will get this goods at rupees 120 which will be termed as invoice price why not cost price and invoice price because some unrealized profit is added to it this profit is not yet realized because ho has not sold this goods to market it has just transferred it to branch this will be termed as invoice price branch is selling this goods to the market at the rate of rupees say 130 will be termed as selling price Sometimes branch sells goods to market at rupees one twenty, not at one thirty. Sir, so it will not be earning any profit. See, branch is a part of head office of a company. Company has already added a profit of twenty rupees. So it is possible that company has told to branch that you individually did not earn any profit. and sell it at the rate of rupees 120 in that case invoice price and selling price will be same otherwise invoice price is the price at which ho transfers the goods to branch and branch selling it to market the price is termed as selling price let us start with first method dependent branch accounting and first method is debtors method see in dependent branch there are two methods you can keep your branch books of accounts by debtors method and stock and debtors method why the name is debtors method and stock and debtors method we will be doing it when we complete the uh, uh, point of debtors method and uh, stock and debtors method but right now understand in dependent branch books of accounts is kept by head office so we will be passing each and every type of journal entry in the books of head office whatever we are doing in this lecture we are doing it in the books of head office so let us pass some journal entries these are journal entries in the books of head office for say gujarat branch so let us assume head office is in mumbai and goods are sent to branch at cost plus 20% means cost plus 20% is invoice price let us take the first journal entry or the first thing that happens when you create a branch goods are sent to branch by head office what is happening actually head office which is in mumbai are sending goods to branch at what rate the goods are costing rupees 
वन लैक टू एच ओ बट इट ट्रांसफर गुड्स एट कॉस्ट प्लस ट्वेंटी परसेंट प्रॉफिट सो इट चार्जेस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज मोर एंड इट सेंड्स टू ब्रांच एट वन लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो इन वॉइस प्राइज विल बी वन लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड Let us go with journal entry. What journal entry will be passed in this particular case? See, branch is receiving the good. So head office will be preparing a ledger account, which is termed as Gujarat branch account. sir what will be gujarat branch account it is nothing but trading and profit and loss account of gujarat branch you cannot write it down you will have to write down gujarat branch account most important it is in the books of ho this account is not prepared by branch it is prepared by ho ho is just trying to determine what will be profit or loss of this particular branch by preparing a combined trading and profit and loss account now try to concentrate what is happening in first entry is gujarat branch is receiving the goods so it is as good as purchase for gujarat branch or gujarat branch account so gujarat branch in gujarat branch account the goods will be debited debit what comes in so it will be i should write down gujarat branch gujarat branch account debit and what goods have come in in gujarat branch 1 lakh 20000 1 lakh 20000 rupees see this ultimately is written in the books of ho so ho will be having a separate go down or a, a branch in gujarat the goods are coming in gujarat branch so gujarat branch account will be debited it is going out from ho so ho should be credited any goods going out in ho will be credited to its own trading account please understand this is not trading account of the branch this is trading account of ho this goods are going out of trading account of ho and it will be 1 lakh rupees sir why not 1 lakh 20000 because 20000 is a profit ho in its own trading account cannot write down goods gone out except sales at cost plus profit in its own trading account it will have to write down everything at cost except one thing which is sales so it will be writing down two trading account at the rate of rupees 1 lakh there is a difference of 20000 this is nothing but reserve on goods sent sir how i will post this into my account so the uh, journal entry should be absolutely clear 1 lakh 20000 rupees goods are coming in go down of gujarat branch so gujarat branch account will be debited two trading account because in ho this goods are going out but at the rate of rupees only 1 lakh so there is a 20000 which is not yet earned by the company and it is uh, having a credit balance how i will be posting this gujarat branch account debit this will be uh, debited to gujarat branch reserves on goods sent now reserves on goods sent we are not preparing any other account for the branch i will be crediting it to gujarat branch account and this will be credited to trading account of the company which is ho right now i am not preparing trading account of the company i am just preparing gujarat branch account so this is my gujarat branch account where my journal entry is welcome gujarat branch account to 
गुड्स सेंड टू ब्रांच और गुड्स रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम एचओ यू कैन राइट डाउन एनीथिंग व्हिच इज वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज इट इज डेबिटेड एज वी हैव अंडरस्टूड द स्टॉक रिजर्व रिजर्व ऑन गुड्स सेंड आल्सो शुड बी क्रेडिटेड टू गुजरात ब्रांच सो स्टॉक रिजर्व विल बी क्रिएटेड बाय स्टॉक रिजर्व ऑन गुड्स सेंड which is 20000 see as i told you before this is ultimately trading and profit and loss account of branch in trading and profit and loss account whatever is coming in should be recorded at cost for the company and ultimately if you will see your trading account or branch account it is cost which is debited what is 1 120000 1 20000 which was profit on credit side we have written 20000 so ultimately what is the net effect is One lakh rupees. Let us go to another, which is very simple. Goods are written to HO. This is goods returned to HO. So branch is returning goods to HO of how much rupees? Ten thousand rupees. In which twenty thousand rupees, uh, sorry, two thousand rupees profit is already included. So, how if we will journalize it? How the head office will pass a journal entry for this? Please try to consider. First, Gujarat branch account will be credited because something is going out of the Gujarat branch to Gujarat branch account. How much rupees goods are going out? Twelve thousand. It will be credited. What will be debited? This is a reverse journal entry, right? Now branch is sending goods to HO. So trading account will be debited because for head office the goods are coming in, but not by twelve thousand. Head office trading account records everything at cost and. remaining will be reserves on goods returned which will be how much 2000 if i uh, transfer it to my books of accounts or trade uh, ledger accounts what will be the effect i'll tell you by goods returned how much goods were returned 12000 why it will be credited because they are going out of our branch and reserve on goods returned are 2000 will be returned on debit side sir what about the effect of 10000 this effect of 10000 trading account we are not preparing trading account in the books of ho in books of ho in trading account it will be debited this is goods are sent to branch goods are returned from branch and we are going to third point cash sales what will be the journal entry when the goods are sold on cash by branch sir what about credit sales it is somewhat typical we are first doing cash sales a very simple journal entry for cash sales which will be cash account debit to sales no then it will go in hos trading account normal sales goes in hos trading account so say cash sales is rupees 2 lakhs to गुजरात ब्रांच अकाउंट विच विल बी एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीज टू लैक्स एंड वी विल बी पोस्टिंग इट टू लेजर अकाउंट क्रेडिट साइड बाय cash sales 
2 lakhs rupees. Sir, do we need to reverse? No. What will be the second effect? It will go in head office cash account debit side by branch Gujarat branch sales 2 lakhs rupees. Of course, you understand this is not a single entry which will be passed during the year. During the year, there will be n numbers of cash sales. So whenever the cash sales happen in the Gujarat branch, what HO will pass the journal entry is cash account debit to Gujarat branch account. In Gujarat branch account, it will be credit side which will be cash sales. Let us go to next point. Number four, which is expenses by branch. Now it is very simple whenever the expenses are done by branch instead of debiting salary instead of debiting expenditure i will be debiting gujarat branch account it will be gujarat branch account debit to cash all types of expenditure see ultimately in what what we do in books of accounts is write down journal entry like this let me do it Say if salary is paid, the head office will be passing a journal entry, salary for Gujarat branch account debit to cash. And where ultimately this account will be closed, it will be closed in Gujarat branch account. So Gujarat branch account debit to salary of Gujarat branch as i am explaining you i am just giving you a direct journal entry which will be gujarat branch account debit to uh, cash gujarat branch account in my ledger account gujarat branch account will be debited to expenses and i have not written the figures but say figure is uh, 6000 rupees all the expenditures of gujarat branch are 6000 rupees let me write down the figures 6000 6000 6000 what is the ultimate journal entry it is gujarat branch account debit to cash for all types of expenditure closing stock of branch now let us understand first what is closing stock of branch it was having a cost of 5000 and 20 percent profit is added on it so how much profit was added on it 1000 and total closing stock was 6000 rupees lying at branch what is the normal journal entry for closing stock is closing stock account debit to trading account but this is not head office closing stock this is closing stock lying at branch Sir, head office ultimately owns the branch. So, should it come in trading account of uh, HO? No. But it should come in balance sheet of HO. That is consolidated balance sheet. This uh, closing stock should appear. Let us pass the journal entry. How the journal entry will be recorded by HO when there, when there is a closing stock in branch. Closing stock account debit. This HO will transfer it to asset side of balance sheet. If it is transferring it to asset side of balance sheet, it cannot transfer at 6000 rupees. It will have to transfer at 5000 rupees. But in a trading account of branch which is a branch account you will have to write down 6000 rupees so branch account will be credited by 6000 rupees this is ultimately trading account for the branch you cannot write down two trading account but you can write down two branch account which will be 6000 what is 1000 rupees 
विच विल बी नथिंग बट रिजर्व ऑन क्लोजिंग एंड एज वी आर नॉट प्रिपेरिंग एनी अदर अकाउंट दिस विल बी ऑल्सो अल्टीमेटली क्लोज इन ब्रांच अकाउंट दिस इज ऑफकोर्स अ ब्रांच अकाउंट सो इट विल गो इन ब्रांच अकाउंट so branch account credit side closing stock of 6000 let us write it down we will be writing down in branch account credit side by closing stock of 6000 and we will be creating reserve of 1000 to to reserve on closing which is 1000 what hos credited 6000 in which account branch account this is a branch account what hos debited in branch account 1000 rupees so total credit 5000 what will be debit effect another second debit effect of 5000 is it will go in balance sheet asset side balance sheet will not be prepared of branch and hos separately because it is a dependent branch we will be preparing one balance sheet and in that balance sheet closing stock asset side of balance sheet 5000 1000 debit over here total debit 6000 total credit 6000 we can go ahead uh, this is the effect of closing stock what will happen in next year to this closing stock try to concentrate in next year sam preparing next years gujarat branch account but this is of next year closing of previous year will become opening of next year and this i'll be taking it from year which is 6000 but the reserve on closing is on debit side so that i will be taking it on credit side reserve on opening it was reserve on closing in previous year but now it will be reserve on opening and what is the figure which is this will happen in next year of the closing stock that we have recorded in current year so in last year also we might have prepared a trading account and there would have been a closing stock and the closing stock was of 36000 rupees and so opening stock is 36000 rupees opening stock being 36000 rupees there will be a reserve of 6000 30000 would be cost and 20% added on 30000 will be 6000 so last year what would have happened 30000 would have been cost and 6000 would have been that reserve so total is 36000 so reserve on opening is nothing but sir why we have not written the 6000 and this 1000 you should understand it right that it is it is not a rocket sign this will go in next year the figures will come from previous year previous previous year closing stock will become opening stock of current year this is how we will record opening stock and in opening stock will not be passing we are just carrying forward the balances so will not be passing journal entry for carry forwarding the balances this will be uh, on debit side uh, and this will be on credit side let us go to next effect or next entry which is number 6 Six point will be regarding debtors account. See what should be recorded in your branch account. Branch account is ultimately trading and profit and loss account. So what should be recorded in trading and profit and loss account? 
इज क्रेडिट सेल्स इज बेड डेट इज ऑल द टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सपेंडिचर रिलेटेड टू डेटस इंक्लूडिंग सेल्स रिटर्न All this point should be written in my branch Gujarat branch account. But what will be the technique in the dater's method when we are following dater's method in branch account? Try to concentrate. We will be preparing a dater's account, and most important thing to understand over here is. This is. in the books of head office no head office does not give dual effect for this dater's account it is a separate account or a separate sheet prepared either by gujarat branch account or by a person sitting in ho but he is preparing this account separately which is which account dater's account see what is the normal practice is this dater's account will be handed over to gujarat branch Gujarat branch will be told that you will have to maintain this particular account, and Gujarat branch has maintained this account. Please try to concentrate. Two opening balance fifteen thousand. And there is a credit sales. Of only twenty thousand. Let me take it. Uh, Thirty thousand or forty thousand. Because I have taken twenty thousand and numbers of times. Credit sales is forty thousand. I will be having cash received from dates. Which is thirty two thousand. Then there is a bad debt of four thousand, and then there is a sales return of four thousand. Of five thousand. Thirty-two plus nine, forty-one. So this will be fourteen thousand. I am going getting closing dates fifty-five thousand minus forty-one fourteen thousand. This is a dater's account which is prepared by HO in its books of accounts. No, what I mean to say is there will not be any dual effect for this credit sales of forty thousand. This is debited, sir. Where it will be credited, I cannot tell you where it will be credited because this is just just a sheet. Don't even name it as account. It is dater sheet which is prepared by Gujarat branch account. They might be keeping a small account and. Uh, at gujarat branch who will be just responsible for preparing this data sheet so there will not be any dual effect for this right now if you want to find out your real profit in your gujarat branch account please concentrate what should be done you should write this as your income because it is your income and you should subtract this expenditures because they are expenditure so this is your income this is your expense first understand the process i'll also tell you the logic so net this should be credited because it is your income this should be debited because it is your expenditure so net credit should be 40000 credit minus 9000 debit so 31000 credit net you should be writing down in your branch trading account 
and what is your branch trading account and PNL account? Gujarat branch account in the books of HO. See, 40,000 is income for HO and 9,000 is expenditure for HO. 31,000 should be written on credit side. So, you should write down by income from credit sales. How much? 31,000. Actually, what you, you should be writing down? You should write down credit sales of 40,000 and all expenditure and sales written on debit side. And ultimately, the net answer should be 31,000. If you don't get it, try to concentrate. I should actually write down credit sales 40,000. Sales are written. What is sales written? 5,000 and bad debt is 4,000. What is the net answer? 31,000 credit. So for credit sales data, 31,000 should be credited. But interestingly, it is written in a different manner. See, first learn the art of solving the question and then I'll tell you the reason why company does this. Instead of writing credit sales, sales written and bad debt, what they write down is opening data. What were opening data? 15,000. On credit side, closing data. Is 14,000. And on credit side, cash received from data. which is nothing but 32,000. And if you will see the net effect, see this blue color pen. What we have credited with this blue color pen is 32,000 plus 14,000 credit. What we have debited? 15,000. What is net credited is 31,000. And it is seriously written in this manner and not in this particular way. We will write down opening data. Sir, opening data never appears in trading profit and loss account. Agreed. It is just another way of writing down the answer. Opening data, closing data and cash received from data. Closing data, credit side, cash received from data, credit side and opening data will be on debit side and what is the net effect i am giving net effect i am giving is a 31000 credit what should be given as net credit 31000 so our profit will tally our answer will tally try to concentrate once again what we have done instead of writing 40000 on credit side and 9000 on debit side we have written 32,000 and 14,000 on credit side and 15,000 on debit side. Ultimately, it is one and the same thing. Mathematically, there is no difference in it. So, why this? Why we should record opening data, closing data and cash reserve from data? Once again, understand this is a dependent branch which is a Gujarat branch and head office is only interested in its profit. So, whenever there is a closing data, let us first understand this 14,000. Closing data of branch is always assets of the HO also, because all the assets of branches ultimately belongs to HO. So, this should come in, it, come in our balance sheet. So, what is our closing data, 14,000? 14,000, this type of journal entry will be passed for closing data. For closing data, data's account should be debited. With how much rupees? 14,000 rupees. To 
गुजरात ब्रांच अकाउंट फोर्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज वेर दिस इफेक्ट विल गो डेबिट साइड एसेट साइड ऑफ एल एन जी वेर दिस इफेक्ट विल गो ब्रांच अकाउंट क्रेडिट साइड सर क्लोजिंग डेटर्स इज नेवर एन इफेक्ट इन ट्रेडिंग पी एन एल अकाउंट एग्रीड दिस इज जस्ट अ सेपरेट और डिफरेंट वे ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग द थिंग्स एंड वेन एवर द कैश इज रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम डेटर्स नाउ इट विल बी गिवन एन इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट द कैश शुड ऑलवेज कम टू हेड ऑफ एक्स सो हेड ऑफ एस कैश बींग अ रियल अकाउंट दे विल हैव टू डेबिट एड so cash account will be debited when the cash is received from debtors cash account will be debited and branch account will be credited no debtors account will be credited branch account will be credited where cash account will go it will go on debit side of cash account of ho and where this will go branch account credit side how it will what is the figure figure is cash received from data 32000 so 32000 and 14000 will appear on credit side of branch account sir how this 15000 opening daters will come it will be carried forward in last year balance sheet there will be opening daters of the branch which uh, sorry closing daters of the branch 15000 in last year in current year it will come directly in branch account or debit side it, it, there will not be any journal entry it is just carrying forward of balance sheet all the balance sheet figure will be carried forward and this figure uh, will be carry forward so in a weird manner we are actually recording 31000 credit but instead of re recording credit sales instead of recording uh, sales return instead of re recording bad debt what we are recording is opening debtors on credit side cash received from debtors and closing debtors this will be how we will be dealing with our profit from credit sales and which will be credit 31000 rupees in our case uh, still the same question sir why to do this please understand ho is only interested in this figure why it will have to write down in the balance sheet asset side it is interested in this figure because it will have to debit its cash account cash being a real account and this is ultimately carried forward because closing stock was recorded in next year and try to understand other figures sir bad debt is not important for uh, head office it is important but understand the statement will always be there with head office no need to pass the journal entry see what head office is concerned is what is your profitability from credit sales it is credit 31000 all right i'll be writing down credit 31000 i'll not have to prepare some separate weird accounts for recording my cash and debtors right or cash or uh, uh, debtors which is lying in my asset side of balance sheet so what i'll be writing down i will be telling you to prepare the statement i will be verifying the statement whether it is correct or not i will be writing down only opening balance closing balance and cash received from debtors ultimately everything else will be recorded sir what is the credit sales that is not much important for ho what is much what is more important for for ho is what is the profitability from this credit sales so uh, it is recording in this manner 15000 32000 and 14000 i hope you understand your credit sales is recorded your sales return is recorded your bad debt is recorded but it is recorded in some weird manner ho has practically recorded everything let us find out the profit what this branch is earning by selling the goods 
you just need to total out this branch account that is 6 plus 20 plus 12 plus 200 plus 32 plus 14 plus 6 it is 2 lakh 90 thousand minus the side i have kept a huge profit intentionally so that it does not turn into loss 2 lakh 90 thousand minus 36 minus 120 minus 2 minus 15 minus 6 minus 1 it is 1 lakh 10 thousand so profit Mm, let me change the color. Profit which will be transferred to general PL account. On credit side of general PL account, it will be written branch Gujarat branch profit, which will be nothing but one lakh ten thousand rupees. This will be lakh ninety thousand and my branch uh, trading PNL account or branch account will tally and I'll be getting profit of Gujarat branch. Also, I will be able to record closing stock, uh, closing data of Gujarat branch in my balance sheet asset side and all the real accounts affected like cash trading account. I will be able to write it down in my HOS books of accounts. Most important part was over here where this data's account is not a real account it is a real account which is prepared by some accountant but you should treat it as a debtors sheet which is either prepared by ho or prepared by branch but it is not having a dual effect why i am converting this account into sheet otherwise you'll ask me sir where the second effect will go this will not go anywhere what uh, the person will do he will prepare the debtors account what ho will do it will take this three figures opening cash received from datas and closing datas write it down in the branch account and their accounts will tell it logically also it is correct yes mathematically also it is correct yes we have understood 40 minus 9 is 31 or 32 plus 14 minus 15 is also 31 and so this is how we prepare branch account when there is only datas method and where the name of the method came, method came from here the data's account is prepared separately. It is not a part of your HO's books of accounts. And so this type of method is termed as data's method. Also even logically, let us try to understand whether this trading p &L account is giving us correct answer or not. See, opening stock for any institute should be recorded at uh, cost. Sir, this is written at 36,000. Agree. But 6,000 is reduced from here. So ultimately 36,000 minus 6000 is nothing but 30000 opening stock should be recorded at 30000 goods received from ho is nothing but 120000 it is my purchase but sir purchase should be recorded at cost so only the reserve is written on credit side 120 minus 20 is 1 lakh which is nothing but my purchase purchase written same manner 12000 sir but purchase written also should be recorded at cost so 2000 is written on debit side ultimately what is net effect is 10000 credit which is nothing but my purchase written cash sales is my income i should write it down on credit side of trading account i have written it on credit side nothing to do in that why not to create a reserve because it is a realized profit and not unrealized profit opening data cash received from data and closing data are actually recording credit sales on credit side and all expenses on debit side so it is also justified it will uh, be giving me correct answer expenses are written on debit side of pnl account it is written on debit side closing stock is written on credit side of trading account but sir it should be written at cost 6000 is cost plus some profit of 1000 profit of 1000 is written on debit side so it will be removed so logically also if you find uh, write down your normal trading account at cost just your sales at your uh, selling price you will be getting and you prepare trading and profit and loss account you will be getting same profit which is nothing but one lakh ten thousand
to understand this conceptual idea and you will be absolutely clear what you are doing what we are doing opening stock in our case was having a cost of 30,000 where 6,000 profit was already added so invoice price was 36,000 goods sent by HO to branch was 1 lakh but 10,000 was re were written I am talking about cost 1 lakh rupees goods were sent at 1 lakh 20,000 and 10,000 rupees goods were returned at 12,000. So 1 lakh minus 10,000 that is 90,000 cost of goods were sent by HO to branch by adding a profit of 20% that is 18,000. So what will be goods received by branch 1 lakh 20,000 invoice price minus 12,000 which was written 1 lakh 8,000 and this will match 90 plus 18 is equal to 1 lakh 8,000. What is closing stock cost 5,000 profit 1000 so invoice price of closing stock is 6000 what is our cost of goods sold opening plus purchase minus closing sir goods received from HO is a purchase yes it is as good as purchase the goods are coming in will be nothing but my COGS so opening plus goods and minus closing will be COGS and what is the cost of goods sold 1 lakh 15,000 yes Profit of 23,000 is already added, but we reverse it, right? We don't write it down. We always reverse this. If we write down 36,000 on debit side, we also write down 6,000 on credit side in our account. So what is our COGS is 1,15,000. What was my cash plus credit sales? 2,40,000. So what is my GP? 1,25,000. What were my other expenditures? 6,000 was nothing but expenditures for the branch. Uh, 5,000 was bad debt and 4,000 was sales written. So total expenditures are 15,000. We could have reduced sales written from here also, but the answer would have remained same. So 1,25,000 is my GP other expenditures 15,000. My profit of the branch is 1,10,000. Logically, if I calculate, then also profit of my branch is 1,10,000. And in the account that we have prepared, I have got a profit of 1,10,000. So this will automatically be taken care of. What, we, what will be asked in examination is they might ask a journal entry sometimes or they'll just ask to prepare branch account and dater's account which are ledger account. And you need to understand this data account is just a sheet. But in examination, you will have to draw as if it is an account. This is end of a first topic, which is dependent branch. First method was data's method. Let's start with second method. And please understand, we are doing something about dependent branches. Second method is stock and daters method. So in this method, we prepare number one, branch stock account. And that will be at invoice price. We also prepare branch dater's account and we maintain dater's account and when I say we, all the accounts are maintained by head office. Because it is a dependent branch, it is not an independent branch. So branch is not allowed to keep its own books of accounts. All the accounts are maintained by head office to find out profit we also prepare branch adjustment account and at last branch profit and loss account and the profit which we get from branch profit and loss account we will be transferring it to general PNL account which is maintained by company Please understand in first method, which was the first method, it was a dater's method. HO used to prepare only one account, which is branch account. 
yes there was one more account which was maintained independently it was not in books of accounts and that account was nothing but debtors account but it was different a debtors account was as good as debtors sheet there was no dual entry in debtors account it was just a sheet maintained so that ho can pass a journal entry for opening debtors for cash received from debtors and closing debtors this we did in debtors method your debtors sheet or debtors account was maintained separately not an integral part of ho's books of accounts here all four accounts will become integral part of head office books of accounts i will be taking similar figures as i have taken in debtors method and we will be solving uh, the questions by stock and debtors method so let us go with first journal entry this is particulars debit rupees credit rupees first journal entry is goods sent to branch when the goods are sent to branch and they are always sent at invoice price what is the journal entry that will be passed branch stock account debit because something is coming in in branch stock account it will be debited to trading account because something is going out from HO's stock so trading account will be credited branch stock account 1 lakh rupees goods are transferred at a profit of 1 lakh 20 thousand what is the policy of the company to transfer at cost plus 20 percent which is nothing but invoice price so what is coming in branch stock account uh, the goods are coming in to the branch debit what comes in i will be debiting branch stock account by 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees but in a trading account things which are going out and which is not yielding any realized profit cannot be recorded at invoice price or cannot be recorded at cost plus profit so trading account will be recorded at 1 lakh rupees sir where the balancing figure will go it is credit it will go to branch adjustment account which is nothing but sir what is this 20000 i'll tell you but let us try to uh, understand that branch stock account should be debited by 1 lakh 20000 because i am preparing branch stock account at invoice price Br trading account should be credited at 1 lakh that is cost because trading account you cannot record anything at cost plus profit except sales and the difference i am transferring right now to branch adjustment account i am also preparing branch stock account And please understand this will be at invoice price. I am also preparing branch debtors account. And this will be at actual price. Also branch adjustment account. One more account which is branch profit and loss account. It is not HO's profit and loss account. It is branch profit and loss account. So let me uh, uh, post this journal entry branch stock account debit 1 lakh 20,000. Is 1 lakh 20,000 invoice price? Yes. So uh, I will be maintaining branch stock account at invoice price. To branch adjustment account at 20,000. I'll tell you logic of this also why it is appearing on credit side of branch adjustment account trading account 1 lakh trading account ho will be preparing i am not preparing right now in my question it is a dependent branch this all accounts are integral part of ho's books of accounts number two, goods rated
to H. How much goods were written? It was having a cost of ten thousand and a profit of two thousand. These goods were written. Exactly opposite journal entry will be passed. Trading account will be debited. Why trading account should be debited? Because goods are coming in into HO's store. So debit what comes in in HO's books and it is coming in in HO's store. So it should be recorded but at cost. HO does not record it anything. Record anything at cost plus profit. So it will be ten thousand rupees. Two branch stock account. How much invoice price goods are going out? Twelve thousand. So branch stock account I am maintaining at invoice price, so I should credit it at invoice price. The balancing figure will be transferred to branch adjustment account, which will be two thousand. I am posting this journal entry trading account. I am not preparing branch adjustment account two thousand. Two goods written. 2000 and credit side of branch stock account at 12000 by goods written 12000 is 12000 an invoice price yes i am going into right direction let us go to next one number 3 expenditure Of rupees six thousand by branch. What HO will pass journal entry? Branch expense account debit will ultimately transferred to branch P and L account to cash or bank, which is cash or bank of HO head office, and it will be six thousand rupees. Will not be transferred to branch adjustment account directly. Will be transferred to branch P and L account again. Why? When will be uh, summarizing the point? I will be telling you why it is directly transferred to P and L account. Right now, I am posting. This will be in HO's books. I am not preparing a cash account. Branch profit and loss account six thousand debit to cash in bracket expenses, which will be. Six thousand rupees. Let us go to next. Is closing stock. What is closing stock? The cost of closing stock is the five thousand plus. There is a profit of one thousand in closing stock. So invoice price of closing stock is six thousand. Five thousand is cost for the company. One thousand they have added the profit while transferring it to the branch, and this is lying in the closing stock of the branch. I will be passing a journal entry closing stock. This is a closing journal entry closing stock account debit. Sir, where well, this will go? This will be going into balance sheet asset side. And so it cannot be written at six thousand. It should be written at five thousand rupees. Two. It is a closing stock of even branch. So in branch stock account, it should be credited. See stock account ultimately it is a trading account. So opening, purchase, the sales, closing, everything should be written into a stock account. It is a closing balance of branch stock, but branch stock we maintain it at invoice price. So branch stock should be recorded at six thousand, and so the difference branch adjustment account debit one thousand. We will be posting this journal entry balance sheet. We are not preparing because it will be prepared by H O. Branch adjustment account debit one thousand to reserve on closing one thousand and branch stock account six thousand by 
क्लोजिंग सिक्स थाउजेंड इज सिक्स प्राइस यस आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग एवरीथिंग एट इन प्राइस एज फार एज ब्रांच स्टॉक अकाउंट इज कंसर्ट दिस वॉज एक्सपेंडिचर एंड क्लोजिंग स्टॉक लेट इस गो टू सम ऑफ द जर्नल एंट्रीज फॉर डेटर्स बिफोर गोइंग टू डेटर्स लेट मी गो टू ओपनिंग स्टॉक See what will be effect of closing this closing stock in next year. Next year in branch stock account six thousand will be debited. It is opening balance from balance sheet it would be debited, and this branch adjustment account one thousand will be credited. So I will not be passing any journal entry. It is just carrying forward of balances. So opening stock was a thirty thousand. Plus there was a profit of six thousand, so total was thirty six thousand. What will be the effect? Branch stock account I will be debiting by thirty six thousand. It is opening stock, so branch stock account to opening stock thirty six thousand and branch adjustment account by. Reserve on opening. It is six thousand rupees. Sir, still there is a difference of thirty thousand. No, thirty thousand is my asset side closing balance of last year. I should pass debit effect of thirty thousand in current year as an opening balance. Thirty six thousand debited, six thousand credited. I have passed the debit effect of thirty thousand. Rupees for opening stock. Last year's closing will become current year's opening. Next point. Let us go to sales. There was cash sales. What will be journal entry? Cash account will be debited. What will be credited? Branch stock account will be credited. What is the amount of cash sales? Is two lakhs rupees. Cash account will be generally prepared by HO. Branch stock account will be credited by two lakhs rupees by cash sales. How much? Two lakhs rupees. Sir, this is not invoice price. I totally agree. This is not invoice price, sir. Stock account should be maintained at invoice price. Agreed. This is not invoice price. Absolutely agreed. I'll tell you why we are recording this two lakhs rupees over here, which is not invoice price of the goods. Let us first go to credit sales. Credit sales was forty thousand rupees. What will be the journal entry passed? Branch debtors account debit to branch stock account. So branch debtors and branch stock and credit sales is say forty thousand rupees. Both account I am preparing branch debtors account forty thousand debit because this will increase my debtors branch stock account because stock will uh, be going out of rupees forty thousand again is it an invoice price not necessary it is not necessary that branch will be selling it at cost plus profit for the company. It is possible branch might be charging some higher or lower amount. So this is not an invoice price. I am just writing it with green color pen. So let me convert this opening stock into black color pen, which is thirty six thousand. Because this is at invoice price, right? Only two lakh and forty thousand are not at invoice price. Let us go to opening balance of debtors. Now there is no journal entry passed for opening balance of debtors. It will be just transferred from last year's balance sheet as an opening balance. Opening debtors are say fifteen thousand rupees. 
So I'm just writing down opening daters. Next point is cash received from daters, which is 32,000 rupees. Cash received from daters. Normal journal entry, cash account debit to branch daters, which is a 32,000 rupees. Cash account, we are not preparing. Branch daters will be credited because daters will decrease by cash 32,000. It is simple, so we are going fast. There is a bad debt of 4,000 rupees. It is a bad debt. Ultimately, will be closing in branch PNL account. So we can also write down branch PNL account debit to branch datas, which is. 4,000 rupees. I'm just posting this. B branch PNL account debit. 4,000. And bed debt will reduce my data. So data will be credited. This will be journal entry for bad debt. There is a sales return of 5,000 rupees. What is the journal entry? Branch stock account debit because this stock will come into the branch stock account to branch Datas. Sales return does not go in PNL account. It will go in branch stock account and branch daters account. And it is say 5000. So branch of stock account debit 5000. To sales return 5000. Because it is not at invoice price, it might be at actual selling price. And branch daters account. Here there is no need to write down because daters account are prepared at actual figures. Sales written of 5000. I will be getting closing balance of daters. This is 55,000. This is 34, 36, 41. So 14,000 will be closing balance of daters. Where this will be transferred, this will be transferred in balance sheet asset side. Next year, it will become opening daters for branch daters. This is branch daters account. So we have just summarized branch daters account. And this was a sales data. We have closed the branch daters account. Let us close again branch stock account because there is opening also and there is closing also. There will be a difference and let us first find out what is the difference. It will be 12,000 plus 200,000 plus 40,000 plus 6,000 minus 1,20,000 minus 36,000 minus 5,000 which is 97,000. Let me write down a different color. 97,000. Why there is a difference in branch stock account? So debit what comes in, credit what goes out. If I write down opening stock on debit side and closing stock on credit side, it should tell you. I absolutely agree it should tell you. Had I written each and every figure at invoice price. Here, cash sales, credit sales and the sales written are not written at invoice price, are written at actual price. Sales and sales return are written at actual selling price and everything else is written at invoice price. Now you should understand, even if the name is branch stock account, it is ultimately branch trading account. 
for branch invoice price is a cost so everything is recorded at cost except one thing which is sales and so this is my gp this is my profit which will be transferred to profit and loss account so profit and loss account 97000 by branch stock account 97000 let us go ahead and closing branch adjustment account 26000 minus 3000 is 23000 which will be again my profit and what is this profit i'll tell you both are profits this we have learned in department markup and markdown if i sell all the goods which are available for sale how much profit i will be earning and which profit i am talking about try to concentrate this company is manufacturing something at cost plus it is adding 20 percent to get invoice price plus branch might be adding some profit margin and this will be selling price when i am talking about this branch profit it is this when i am talking about this 20 percent it is this both is profit for the company yes both is profit for the company but they this you will be getting it in branch adjustment account had i sold all the opening stock and goods received from ho i would have earned a profit of twenty thousand because one lakh was goods and twenty thousand was profit that is twenty percent on it 30,000 was opening stock, 6,000 is margin on it. So I should have earned 2 lakh, 26,000, sorry. I should have earned 26,000 rupees. But I am not selling all the goods which are available for sale. Some of the goods were returned to HO. So I will not be earning profit on that goods. 2,000 are not goods written. It is profit on goods written. It is reserve on goods written. See, goods written are 12,000. 2000 is profit on goods rate and this I will not be earning. So I will be deducting it from 26,000. Again, what is 26,000? Had I sold all the goods which are available for sale, then my profit would have been 26,000. But I am returning some goods, so that portion profit I will not be earning. Some of the goods are not sold. See, this we were doing it in department even. Huh? Reserves on closing, unrealized profit stock reserve that is the same thing this is reserve on closing this is the profit that we have recorded by transferring the goods but it will not be received it will not be earned so i am deducting had i sold all the goods i would have earned 26000 rupees profit some of the goods i have written and some of the goods are closing stock so profit on that goods i will not be earning so ultimately i am earning 23000 rupees which is only this 20% of the profit. This is tally 23,000 will be transferred to PNL account by branch adjustment account, which is 20. Once again, what is a 97,000? Try to concentrate. There is a cost for the company whereby company adds a 20% profit while sending it to branch. So cost plus 20% becomes invoice price. This portion of profit is nothing but 97,000 rupees, which we have found out. Plus, some profit is the charge over and above invoice price by branch and this becomes my selling price and this portion of profit is 23,000. Both the profits are ultimately profits of branch and ultimately it will be transferred to branch PNL account.
what are other related expenditure 10000 what will be the branch profit or loss there will be branch profit which will be 1 lakh 10000 rupees which will be transferred to general profit and loss account and i have taken same figure which i have taken in my Dater's method, and if I'll show you Dater's method, this is my Dater's method. What was the profit in Dater's method was one lakh ten thousand. What is profit by branch and Dater's, uh, sorry, stock and Dater's method? One lakh ten thousand. Methods are different. Ultimately, it will give the same answer. So this was concept of daters and stock method or stock and daters method and uh, there are some questions like number one sir why there is a profit over here if the goods are sold by branch at invoice price there will be no profit this account will tell you this account will always be having some profit or loss because they uh, there is an invoice price at which branch records the uh, head office records the goods branch daters account in both the methods will look absolutely same what is the difference is in branch stock and daters method this is integral part of books of accounts in daters method it is a separate sheet just informative sheet and there is no dual entry working in it so in that even if you don't write down to and by it is absolutely all right but here it is integral part sir where second effect will go credit sales we have written it over here closing data will go in balance sheet cash will go in cash account of ho bed debt will be transferred to branch pnl account which we have transferred this will be transferred to branch stock account so there will be dual effect there will be dual journal entry which does not happen in data account it is just a sheet in data's account it is actual account when you are doing stock and data's method a very interesting thing if you ask my suggestion my opinion is a company should always follow this method because here all the informations are practically available in your books of accounts you will not, not have to prepare a separate sheet in excel but see if it is a very small branch and sales and uh, purchases are not much relevant only the profit earned by the branch is relevant branch or head office may also follow data's method as a student you will have to learn both the methods data's method and branch and uh, stock and data's method this both methods are of dependent branch where every books of accounts each and every accounts in your books is maintained by head office just a branch is integral part of ho's books of accounts